Right, so we had a CAD challenge to make this little um, T-Robot, which is actually pretty simple when you get down to it, even though it looks a bit scary and complex. So I'm going to go through and build something very similar to this very fast. It won't be maybe the most accurate version of this. Um, I'm not going to do it to scale, I'm not going to use a measurement, but hopefully you'll see that making something like this is actually quite easy. So I'm going to rush through this very quickly. If it's going too fast, then you can just go back and replay it. But let's see what we can do. So we've got sketch up here. Um, so I'm going to just go um, camera, standard views, front. Now, I'm also going to change this to parallel projection because it makes it easier to draw on a flat plane. Now, look at this guy. What we're going to try and do is draw just his front. Now again, I'm not doing this in a particularly um, advanced way. So I'm just going to draw a line up, just so I've got something there. This can be like a giant one, but that's absolutely fine. So his face goes something like this. Oops, I'm going to just zoom in a bit. Um, just drawing those parts there. Again, there's no real um, accuracy going on here. I'm just thinking that it looks about right. Um, okay, so that is the basic outline now. I'm just going to move this section there and I'm going to pull up. Um, my little curve tool and yeah so sorry not talking all the way through actually I'm going to undo that because I think let's have one curve there make a slight variation on this but you know you can see what you like now I'm getting tangents let's go to that end there tangent is that and um, all we're just doing is rounding off the corners on these um, parts, which is pretty much as we see it in the model. So by the way, I'm sorry if I don't hold up the camera all the time, but that's just part of the fun. This part here, I'm going to... What kind of curve are we going to put in? Let's say view... Um, Tool palettes, large tool palettes, there it is. Um, I'm going to put in a three point curve, so one, two, oops, one, two, and mm, I'll tell you what, I'm going to make a bit more exaggerated than done before. So let's do, let's do that. Let's clear out that line there. Let's clear that line, that's fine. Take a new one over here. Get rid of these guys. And a bit more rounding going on. So let's take the basic curve. Um, so the tangent there. Tangent there. And you know what? I'm going to leave it as that. Make sure I'm back at the front. Now, see, I didn't quite finish the bottom bit right. It actually isn't quite um, straight. So, I'm going to remove, oops, remove those various bits. And from the origin point there, take a line across. So now we can actually cut off the ends. So you see, I'm, once again, I'm really not being very accurate. Now what you start to see is this looks a bit like half. So, we're not done yet. We've got the offset tool here. And we can just click there and pull it in to, let's say, there. that sounds good. And we're going to take this, remove those two lines. Um, take this tool, extend this to the center line. 
and do the same. Oops. And just do the same there. So now we've got, you know, if we take around half a man. So, in the views, front again. Take all this, edit, copy, edit, paste, and interplex place there, right click, flip along the direction, moving it from so it's end point there to end point there. Get this right. Okay. So what you see there, let's just try and make this whole. Just leaves these bits here. Try and find out why it's not being as nice as we'd like. It's a bit wide, but so I was going to take this, move this across, expand right to me, take a pen tool and just go endpoint to endpoint, endpoint to endpoint, escape. Endpoint, endpoint, and endpoint to endpoint. So we've now got the base cheek going. But it's not quite finished. Um, so at the moment, it is still just a two dimensional shape. So camera center views front. Now, if you look, he's got a sort of a flat face. So we're just going to go away and cut off those ears on the inside side. So let's just that. We can actually cut um, that line there. Zoom in a bit. End point. Let's bring him straight down. And let's do the same on this side. You know, think about it, it would be a lot easier to get the inside guy working a lot better before we did the copy and paste and flip. But you know what? That's like things like this happen. So let's just clean up this stuff. Yeah, there we are. Now, at this point, we see that this comes out a lot, but the body doesn't. So, what we'll do is we'll put a line, we're going to take off um, take off that, and that. Um, yeah, do the same there. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make some choices. I'm going to take this line across to there. So we've got that piece. And I'm going to, let's say, take this out a little bit further, just a little bit. Move these lines there. And then put in. So start one, start two, and you see it just pulls out the tangent to the arc, so that's actually quite nice. So I've got one, the two, and it's just naturally kicking a tangent there. So you can see that the front is starting to look pretty much like the same. Again, if I had a vernier caliper, I could measure this properly and do a really good job. But you know what? I just don't need to. I'm going to leave it as it is. So what can I do now? I think I could just round this corner off. Let's start at that point there. It's a bit too small actually. Um, but let's see what we can try and do. Yeah, smaller than rounding there. And yeah, this definitely would be better to do it um, completely on the one half and then just mirror it across. But that's fine. Now his feet actually go all the way to the ground, so we're going to just you know, clean up this part there and draw a line extending him to the ground. All right, so now we have the basic outline. Um, actually, I'm going to go a bit further. I'm going to. Hmm. To move, if you put a line here, 
we'll find the midpoint. There we are. Move it on red axis. Now that is completely fine. If I went to camera center views front, that's great. I'm just going to draw a line down the middle. Oops, from the origin all the way to the top. And now it's going to remove all of this stuff. So I'm actually going to redo what I did. You know what? Sometimes you make a mistake when you're working, and he's got to live with it and all this. I'm doing this just because it's going to make the next stage very slightly easier. And I want to show you how it should be done in the first place. So now we have our section there. We're going to focus on his face. So it doesn't actually matter too much about this. We've got um, an eye there. So I'm just going to choose somewhere that looks about right, which is. Can't see very clear on this computer screen. Mm -hmm. A bit. Wrong size, and do that. Oh, that's good. Then got the offset button, just kind of click on the edge. Um, a bit too thick, so let's do it again. Yeah, that was about right to me. Can I draw a nose, which is going to be half a triangle? That's good. And a mouth, which is going to be. Um, you know what? That was that line down there is a bit of a mistake. I'm going to keep it. I think it actually works quite nicely. So we've got his face detail. We've got his eye, his nose, his mouth. Um, the ears we're going to leave for a bit. We've got the rest of the top. We've got the outside bits. And the only thing left to do is the holes there. So I'm going to just punch the hole. Let's put it in there. And we'll just do this. We can just punch a hole there. We're still working on completely 2D. So camera sound views front. Right. Um, we're going to leave that for now. Actually no we're not. I'm jumping ahead of myself, aren't I? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take um, yeah let's go across there. Let's do another um, Tangent, which is just there. I'm going to clear up that part there and that part there. We're going to take, actually, I'm going to clear up the entire section there. Um, take this right along. I'm going to clear up that line there. Let's take a line from there to there. I'm going to take a, a corner again, find the tangent, bit of cleaning up. Do the same here, leave a bit of space in the middle because he's got two feet. Oops, didn't quite connect to that. So that will do cool. Let's take his shoe down there. Eraser. So we're going to clear that line up. Take this little guy and just round the corners off nicely. So there's one there, there's another there, and I'm going to call that done. Um, yeah, I'll do the trick for now. So we have half the robot quite nicely. So I do what we did before, which is edit, copy, edit, paste, stick it down, right click, flip along red. Move from, if you zoom in to get nice and easy, to the corner there, to the corner there, deselect, and with that little razor, we're just going through and we're removing that middle piece. You can't see it very easily because it's actually going through the origin, but um, it's now gone. So this is one robot. He's still in 2D. So this is where it gets really fun. Let's take the tool here. Now we can look at this uh, bit of metal. I'm going to set it to one millimeter. Um, because I'm not doing scale, I'm going to just do this completely by eye. Let's try and get a nice little side, side view. That'll do. And just pull it out. That looks about right. So that's one bit. So let's have a look at that head. The head comes out quite a bit of way. 
So I can just pull that to there and give it further. That looks about right to me. It's a bit scary like that actually. Now we can pull this out and give it on face. And then just kind of put your cursor on the main face and just leave it there. So we're putting out details. Then we can just pull each of the reliefs out individually. So that comes out right enough. And pull this out on face there, on face, and on face. The main body we can pull out to being on to there, and then pull it out again to be on face, then pull it out one last time to be out. It's about there, it's right. And the feet that comes down to be not quite the same, so again on face and then pull to about there, on face, on face, on face, again not quite, actually it's a bit more proud, so on face and then out a little bit. Then on face, on face, and out a little bit. So you can start to see that our little guy is coming to pieces. Now we want to get the relief on the um, body. So we'll do that in a second. So how do we get the holes in the front's body? Well, before I do that, I'm going to do um, one thing, which we. Look, so I'm going to do front. So, I draw a circle here, which is too large. Uh, because the light of the moment cuts on the screen quite as easy as I'd like. So, that looks like a good size hole. Maybe it's too big, so I had to put a slightly smaller one. That's good. So, select the outside ring, move. Forward, press the command key, and I'm going to select there. Actually, that's not quite what I want. That looks about right. So forward slash four, and that looks like a good kind of grid. What we're trying to do? If we just hover over there, and do the same thing again. So press the command key. Say that's a not quite, yeah, that'll do. So forward slash five, forward slash six, forward slash eight. Mm. Seven looks about right to me. So we've now got matrix of holes, but if you look at the front of this guy, he's got reliefs at the front. So what do we do with that? Well, different ways we can do this, but I'm gonna select this roll over there. So right there, click, make group and move this group there. That's one way to do it. Essentially, it is copy, paste, or paste it just there. Now, if I explode, oops, to the group, explode, if I select the main part, press delete, you know, it all goes. So I've got to select the individual out of the rings. She can't do quite as fast as we really like, but you know what? Just bear with me a few seconds and I'll just remove all this stuff. Oops. I'll turn it away, take the eraser, just go over. You know, moving all of these circles. We don't want that right now. So, camera's kind of use front. Now, come on to see why I've taken this whole side in a second. Um, so, we'll draw a large rectangle in this front, which I'm going to say about that. Um, let's take this. Click. And um, again, I'm really not measuring this, I'm just doing it by complete eye. It's still going to be lopsided, it's not going to be the prettiest, but for example, that really is all this really is all matters. And to really prove it, I'm going to make a nice big curve there. Completely lopsided, nobody minds. Let's 
two in another circle. Let's have one there. So let's move him. So select the outside ring part. Move that to yeah, let's put him there. And let's you know what? Let's go put another one roughly in about the right place. I'm not bothered that it's not exactly right because this is just a little bit of fun. So I'm gonna take this and I could make a whole sort of donut shaped relief from that, or some dome shaped relief by drawing um, a line out and revolving around, but no, it's not that important. Not for this thing. So we've now got reliefs on the front. Apart from, um, I will do it slightly differently. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm going to do just this. Sweet so shapes. So once again, pull this. <coughs> Sorry. Pull this up. And there we go. So I've now got some reliefs in the front. So what we're going to do now is start cutting some holes. And we're going to do this is take this and now if I actually just try and um, if I try and push pull extrude as it's screwed it on the works, you can see. So I take this, right click, and I'm going to say explode. Go to the side. And let's remove that line there. That's what I need. We select all these surfaces. Click on extrude. You still can only do one. So I want to make a whole load of rods. And again, it's going to take a little bit of time because I've got to do each one individually. You know, I could delete most of the stuff and I could start again with copy and uh, you know, multiply function. But it doesn't have to take that long to do, so I'm just going to carry on building my rods like this. And the reason is that we're going to use these rods to punch holes in our robot. So yeah, apologies, this is very boring stage. Um, some things you do are just long and laborious. While we're on topic of this, um, it's kind of interesting how SketchUp's the only software I've used um, for CAD where it doesn't have a dedicated um, extrude and cut function. Most CAD packages you have a tool which can only create shape. It can't remove it. Then you have another one which can only remove. And SketchUp it kind of has a bit of a dual personality. Um, there's downside of it. I find SketchUp's a little bit harder to do things like cut holes. Anyway, so I'm going to take this again and I'm going to uh, make group. And I'm actually going to copy this. So edit, copy, edit, paste. I just place that there. We'll see why in a few minutes. So camera, so the views, front, and again we're in power power projection to make it easier to see. So I take this group and I move it to be about there. And turn sideways, you can see it's kind of there. So we're going to move it forward. So those rods really are cutting straight through. Our little guy. Okay. Now, at this point, there are a number of things you could do. Um, I'm going to do this. Hmm. Different ways I can do this. Let's take this. Edit. Copy, edit, paste. The thing about CAD is that there really are quite often more than one way to do anything. So I'm actually going to remove this copy one there. By the way, I'm, I am thinking of my feet for this one. And what we're going to do is I'm going to actually create the back of the robot at the same time doing the cut to the front. Um, so I just take this 
no issues. And we're flattening all the features, take the eraser and removing them. The reason I'm doing it this way rather than the other way, which is to create the front half with all the cuts and then um, change the back half is I think it's slightly easier to remove these features now before the cutting happens. Not by a massive amount, but it just makes it slightly easier. So let's go through. Now it's even easier if you do this without all the rods in place, um, but not very much. People are turning around, and you can see where it is. So this is very easy, not very challenging at all. Okay. So. If I was to now take this, edit, copy, edit, paste, and see that I can place it in the head. Right. Now, can we view standard front? There we go, almost lost it. We can see these aren't lining up perfectly. I could spend time lining up perfectly, but you know what? This is fine. Um, so now, what does move them forward? So select that group, move them forward, and they're actually going straight through his head. Great. So now we have this very hellish like scene of these guys with things pushed through them. Let's just select everything, right click, insect faces with selection. Right? Everything takes time to think because we've got lots of rods, lots of places, lots of bit of curves going on. So hopefully in a second the map will start working. <laughs> okay, it's now actually frozen, so hopefully we can um, get a way around this. Oh, there we are. It just took a little time to think. Now what happens is we take this group and we delete it and we can see we've got lots and lots of holes. Now, take away with that one, take away with this one. And what you find, because we copied the body on the left away from the right, these two are perfect matches. These ones up here, now, I don't actually want any hole cuts there, so I'm going to take the magic tool and we'll start removing all these little bits of guff, which I do not want there at all. It'll take a little bit of time. So actually, I'm not going to do a very good job with this. I'm going to quickly do it. I'll just leave it. But you can go through and do it. Now, if you select these, you can start select, select, select. You know, and just cut those holes. Select them and delete them. That is nice and easy. If you actually do the whole big section of that, it gets rid of them completely, so you have to do them individually. Right, so you see we've done nice and there. Now this one um, is very similar. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do little bits. So where it's met the circle there, I'm just going to leave it. Um, we could, oops, leave one bit there. We could do more deletion bits, but you know, right now I'm going for easy life. For some reason that one didn't cut. I'm actually going to not worry about that. Um, just let it be really. Um, it's just a quick demo showing basic skills, so if it's not 100% perfect, that's fine. What I would usually do is I'd go back and I'd put another rod through and I'd recut that as a whole, or maybe um, I'd take a section out and do some other bits. Um, we can play with it in lots of different ways. Anyway, that is front and back and robot. Actually, I'm going to tidy this up. That's um, not looking quite nice enough, so it's 
slightly annoying me. You've got to be careful not to remove the wrong parts. As soon as you remove wrong parts, then you have the whole section, like that line there, you can you know, lose the whole bit. So you see, if you do that, don't worry, just use the um, undo command and remove what you don't. So remove your mistake. Almost finished here. Tracking that along. Tracking. So yeah, um, I'm pretty happy with that. So what we do now? We select our guy. And we say flip along. And we say green direction. So we've now got that. And um, we just move him into place. Um, before that, we might want to add a bit more depth to metal. So we can just take this face and just pull this out a little bit. And all that does it just means that when you're looking through your um, holes, you see some metal behind. It's not actually essential, we don't have to do it at all. Um, but it does make a nice little detail. Just do the same on that side there. Let's do the same here. And do the same here. Right. So, Select all of that, right click, make components, just give it a name, right click, make components. Okay. You can say make group as well, it's, it's just something. So now we need to take a point which works. Now, if you've done a mirror image which is exactly right, it'd be very easy to take a point because it is point to point. If you've done something lopsided, you're going to find the trouble. But I'm going to choose that and point connector there. Two. This and put it to that. And you see, that we have got the main body. Now it turns out he's a bit flatter than he should be, but you know what? I don't really care. Um, I'm going to give it a colour, so select everything. Paint buckets, colours, I'm going to choose metal, and that metal will do. So it's now all the same colour. So we have made, almost completely, a little T-robot. There's one thing that's missing though, his arms. So before going further, I'm going to save this onto you know, my desktop. I'm going to call him CAD T. Right. So let's get on and make some arms. So let's get into the views, front. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take Line. So imagine what his line um, is like then. So they go up quite a bit to about you know, there. They have a curve and so they finish the line doing that. So all I have to do is take um, my arc from there to there. See, that's not very good because the tangents don't really work. So I'm just going to take a point there. Let me see the parallel. Clear off that. It's a bit too long, so I'm just going to say it's cut off there. We can just remove those bits. So we've now got something. You see, it is just a flat line. I think the computer running a bit slow today, so it's taking a bit of time to um, catch up with the rotations. Now, what we need to do now is just draw circles. So, set the endpoint and just draw a circle about that wide. And we're going to use a favorite tool, which is follow me. And we'll just take it is up to the end. There we have one arm. Not quite finished yet. It's a camera, kind of views front. There's no real necessary to do front, but you know, it's kind of it works. So we need to construct his little hand, and I'm going to do it down here just because I can, and I'm going to make it look something like this. So rectangle from midpoint to a circle. 
clear out the stuff I don't need. Take the um, offset tool. Do an offset to, let's say about there. Actually, I know how to do that. Take the offset in hollows to about there. But draw this line down to there, this line down to there, move that, move that. So we've got our straight thing. Take this, pull out a little bit. So, camera, demo views, front. I'm going to move this. I'm actually going to make it, make it a component. Just makes it slightly easier to work with, really, by a minuscule amount. Move this to be on the edge there. And if you look at this, we can see it does actually transect. Um, move to the front now. If you look at the front here, you can see it's actually got a bolt on there. Um, for this project, I'm not going to bother to do that because it's not really necessary. Um, but I'm going to turn it around. So take this, rotate from there to there, take it around to say there. Great. So I've now got this, right, select everything, make group, and I'm going to check on the same type of colour as before. Cool. So I've got one arm, and I move them into place. So move from there to there. That's not quite right, so I'm going to move it from just there back. I'm doing this by eye once again. That's about right. Um, getting to a bolt there, don't need to do the bolt. So camera, standard views, front. I don't want to go straight up, I'm going to make him different. So be selected, rotation tool, select there, rotate it around like that. Get this, edit, copy, edit, paste. Right. Flip along, say red. Now we can see that the um, it's not quite where it would be, so that's actually not too bad. Um, take it around a different way. How you do this really isn't that important. Um, lots of different ways, but that's going to be about right. Now, his arm's a bit long, sure. Is a different angle, sure. Is he um, thick enough? No, but you know, that's fine. Change perspectives, we should see it better. And there we have made a really nice little robot. So I'm going to save him there. And because I've got no time on my hands, I'm going to choose style. I think this guy looks really good with sketch edges. So, you know, that's kind of cool. File, export, 2D graphic. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And that's how to make such a thing as this. Now I've left the um, the things like the ears off. Um, you can just draw them on, really, <coughs> in the same way done before. So you could do a sideways L shape, screwed it different ways. Yeah, um, but that's the hard, hardest part done. So if you enjoyed that, and good luck.